As we go into Wednesday, we see fairly quiet conditions ahead of a lot of activity about 24 hours from now. Now leading up to that point between midnight tonight and sunrise tomorrow, we do see patchy fog as a possibility, so that could slow you down a little bit during that morning drive. And then after sunrise, a nice and quiet up until we get to again about 24 hours from now. That's when soaking rain starts. Uh, yes, it's warm enough for rain. No freezing rain here. We then have soggy weather into Thursday morning by Thursday afternoon. Possibility of a rain snow mix and some strong wind gusts. So the storm really ramps up the deeper we go into Thursday. So enjoy the calm weather while we have it again tonight. Some patchy fog could have some slick spots under those foggy conditions. 22 coming for the overnight low. Last night we were in the 40s, so this is about 20 degrees colder going into tomorrow morning. It's going to be a little brisk to kick off Wednesday. You can see that morning forecast has temperatures in the low 20s early, then quickly warming up back into the upper 30s to 40s into tomorrow afternoon, like we saw like uh, as of today. So it'll be another day in a row with seeing some peaks of sunshine and temperatures in the 40s. Pretty comfortable weather for this time of year. Light breeze this time. We're not going to see those windy conditions fairly calm over the course of Wednesday. Different story though, Wednesday night, and especially into Thursday with some strong winds around the corner. So soaking rainfall, some snow accumulations possible, and strong winds ahead with that next storm system again coming in tomorrow night through Thursday itself. Uh, even could have some slushy snow accumulations in a few spots. Uh, so as we track this weather system, it's over Texas right now. It's going to pick up a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So plenty of rain, as you can see here on future track moving right towards us. We look to avoid the brunt of the snowy part of the storm though uh, that looks to extend into northeast Iowa central Wisconsin they could see up to six inches of snow out of this particular weather system we're a little too warm for that so we've got a lot of rain heading our way we'll continue to be looking at rain or possibly a rain snow mix into Thursday as this weather system leaves then the back side of the system may drag some light snow showers in for Friday morning let's look at this more specifically closer to home here we are early Thursday morning rain showers starting up and they're going to continue all throughout the night into uh, Thursday beyond sunrise. You can see at sunrise could even have some heavier downpours here. So we may pick up a good inch or more for rainfall. Uh, so lots of soggy weather ahead to kick off Thursday morning into the late morning hours. Light snow, if not a late rain snow mix, and there may be some spots. So roughly from Janesville to Freeport and Northwest that could get some slushy snow accumulations out of this. We'll continue to have that rain snow mix or straight snow showers into Thursday afternoon would dry out quickly Thursday evening. So a good inch plus for rainfall, then uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for some snow accumulations. We'll keep you up to speed just uh, how snowy it's going to end up being. And then strong winds kicking in by Thursday afternoon, gusting at times to 45 miles per hour. After all of this, we cool off into the weekend. Again, keep in mind, just some light snow possible Friday morning on the back side of that storm system, then drive for the weekend. 40s back by next week, Valentine's Day, maybe a hint of rain, but mild temperatures. In your most accurate 10 day forecast, we could try to get to 50 degrees as we head into the middle of next week. Then that 10th day in the 10 day forecast looking a lot colder may get back to winter by the time we get to late February. In the meantime, another mild day, another day on the dartboard cash total approaching $150.